Well, Robin, Canada has about 20% of the world's fresh water, but only about 7% of the world's renewable fresh water, the kind of water that is replenished by a rainfall. And that's why scientists say Canada needs to be smart about water use and water management, even though we have so much of this stuff. Canada has the responsibility to be a world leader and invest in freshwater research. The Liberals say that if re-elected, they'll spend $100 million a year for each of the next 10 years to protect large lakes and river systems. They'll also overhaul a lot of the federal rules around protecting water quality and watersheds, including completing the creation of a new national agency, the Canada Water Agency. With Monday's announcement on clean water and Sundays on new rules for the oil and gas sector, Trudeau is trying to argue that the Liberal Party has been and will be Canada's greenest government ever. There has never been a government as ambitious as this one on climate change. But of course, as the NDP were quick to point out Sunday, Canada's emissions have been rising faster than any of its G7 peers. And of course, the Trudeau government, well, it bought an oil pipeline. Robin? David Aiken in Quebec. Thanks, David. And how old is he? Politics and puppies are a perfect pairing when you're being dogged by other issues on the campaign trail. Aaron O'Toole was talking about animal welfare at this rescue center while trying to pivot away from pipelines. The Northern Gateway is a gazioduc, oleoduc, important. Sunday night, on a Radio Canada interview with all federal leaders, O'Toole said he is in favor of resurrecting the Northern Gateway pipeline, a project that was shelved in 2016 by the Liberals after a federal court of appeal ruled the government didn't sufficiently consult Indigenous communities. What we have to do is get Trans Mountain built and try and make sure that we, we get access for our resources, which are leaders in environmental and social governance. O'Toole believes it would create economic benefits for Indigenous communities along the route that signed economic partnerships. There was plenty of opposition to it, especially in vote-rich BC, where the Conservatives are hoping to win more seats, and where environmentalists point out the effects of climate change are being felt daily. More billions spent on fossil fuel infrastructure will result in climate breakdown and will undermine all our jobs, the entire economy in Canada and in BC. O'Toole's position on new pipelines is contrary to the International Energy Agency's report saying if countries like Canada want to achieve net zero emissions by the year 2050, no new fossil fuel projects should be built. As we see a, a lower carbon future, we should make sure that democratic countries use Canadian resources, not resources from Saudi Arabia or Venezuela or Russia. Expect the Liberals, NDP and Greens to zero in on O'Toole's position on another pipeline as those parties attempt to make the environment a key issue of this campaign. Robin. Mike Lecouture in Vaughan, Ontario. Thanks, Mike. Robin, the NDP leader started the day in a Liberal stronghold Ottawa riding, talking about his plan to tax the ultra-rich. Jagmeet Singh says a new Democrat government would invest $100 million in the Canada Revenue Agency to step up enforcement and close loopholes. The NDP leader believes that could bring in $25 billion in revenue, a big and perhaps questionable number based on a parliamentary budget officer's report about how much is lost annually in revenue every year due to tax avoidance. But tackling tax loopholes and taxing the so-called ultra-rich is a long-standing NDP trope. I asked the leader what's different now from 2019 when those promises did not get him elected. We just saw a bunch of billionaires go to space while people went through the worst economic crisis of their lives. People are pretty frustrated with that. Jagmeet Singh heads west to Vancouver Island, where the party thinks they have a good shot to unseat one of only two sitting Green MPs, Paul Manley, in a former NDP riding as the Greens battle internal turmoil. Robin? All right, thanks, Abigail.